Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and in this video we are going to create this 3D beveled depth look in After Effects. It is very easy to create and you can use this technique for any shape or text. All this inside of After Effects. So before I begin, if you guys are new here, then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. So without wasting any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. So now we have this blank composition and let's create a new solid. So you can just simply right click, go to new solid and let's just click on OK. Now first we are going to apply a gradient effect on this. So just search for gradient ramp. Just drag the effect onto this and after that let's change the colors. So first I'm going to change this to something like this and the end color let's set this to blue and after that I'm going to select these endpoints and let's just move them somewhere around here something like this. So this is completely up to you however you want you can choose whatever colors you want. So yeah, I think this is looking good. So now let's create our shape and you can go to the shape tool and you can click and hold from here you can select any of these shape tools but for this example I'm going to use this polygon tool and after that you can just simply click anywhere and just simply drag and you will notice that we are able to create a shape and right now it's a triangle so let me just quickly create this just like this and you will notice that our fill is off so you can just simply click on it and just make sure that fill is set to none just click on OK and you can just add a little bit stroke to this something like this. So now we have our shape and let me just quickly align this to the center of this comp. So if you're not able to see this align panel then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now we have our shape and the best thing about using this polystar is that you can simply go inside it and from here you can see we have this option called points. So you can just increase the number of points and you can get different type of shapes. So if you want to have a square just type 4 and if you want to have a circle just increase this quite a bit something like this. So now we have a circle. So let me just quickly align this again just like this. You can also move its anchor point in the center. So just select the layer hold down the control key and double click on this icon and it will make the anchor point in the center. So now let's start applying some effects onto this so that it will give it a desired look. So let's select the layer you can right click and from here go to layer style and first effect we are going to apply is inner shadow. Just click on it and right away you can see we have this really nice inner shadow over here. So let me just quickly close this and over here we are going to focus on inner shadow only. So first I'm going to change the distance so let's set this to something like 200 and we can increase the size as well. So let's just increase this quite a bit something like this then you can play around with these values to see what looks good. So I think this is looking fine. You can also change the angle so you can play around with the value. So let's just set this to something like 50 or 60 degree. Yeah I think this is good. Let me just increase the distance and you can play around with these values however you want. Now you will notice that we are able to see this white color so we can get rid of it by simply selecting the layer and then setting its mode to multiply just like this. So now you can see we have this really nice depth look and let's add some highlights on on the sides of this so that it will give it a more realistic look. So in the same way just select the layer right click then go to layer style and from here we are going to enable bevel and emboss. And let's open the it settings and from here we are going to play around with a couple of these settings. So first is size let's increase this so if you do it if you overdo it then you can see that it will give this fake look. So we are just going to set this to something like 7 so that it will give you a really nice highlighted edge. And let's play around with the angle. So this is completely up to you let's set this to 120 only. The altitude will give you this dark area so if you increase it you can see that we have this dark area but if you lower it down then it will get rid of the dark area and now you can see that only the highlight part is left just like this and 
over the highlight color we can just select the color which we are having so that our highlight is in the blue tone something like this you can increase or decrease its opacity however you want it's completely up to you so that's it we are pretty much done with all these settings and if you want you can just simply go in the inner shadow and from here you can just add some noise to this so just don't overdo this let's set this to something like one or two just like this so that it will have a very nice little shadow so we are pretty much done with this so you can see that we have this really nice look and if you want you can just select the layer and you can just increase its stroke however you want the best thing that it's a shape layer so you can animate it however you want just like this and there's one more thing that you can do is you can select this layer then press T and let's lower down its opacity so let's set this to something like 70 just like this so yeah I think this is looking much better so this is how you can create this kind of look and now if you want to apply the same look onto a text all you have to do is just simply select the text tool then you can type whatever you want so let's type hello and I'm going to quickly select this and let's increase its size and let's align it in the center of this comb just like this now we can probably disable this layer now in order to apply the look we have to first convert this into a shape layer so you can select this right click create then click create shape from text now we have the shape layer of this text now let's select the shape layer and over here we can go under the layer styles then just simply select these two and then press ctrl c and copy it just select the text layer then press ctrl v and you will see that we have applied the effect now again we can select this and change the mode to multiply and there you go now we have our text and we are going to probably tweak a couple of the parameters so first is the inner shadow let's decrease the distance and the size as well so something like this yeah now you can see that we have this really nice depth look in the same way you can play around with the angle from where you want the light to come and just play around with these values you can increase the edge highlight just like this you can change the color as well if you want so this is how you can get these kind of looks and it's completely up to you you can animate this however you want since it's a shape layer so you can apply animation to this so this is how you can create these kind of looks in after effects if you want you can also animate this so let me just quickly add a animation to the scale something like this we can also animate it stroke so just search for stroke width and let's add a keyframe press u and in the beginning let's set the stroke to zero you can select the keyframes press f9 then let's quickly change the graph to look something like this So now if I play back, here you can see we have this really amazing animation. Probably move the keyframes closer. So there you go. Now we have this really amazing animation. In the same way we can animate this text as well. So now if I play back, here you can see we have this really amazing animation. So the project file for this tutorial are available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the project files as well as to many other templates as well. So that's it for this tutorial. My name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.